A North Dakota woman was arrested Monday for allegedly slipping her boyfriend a fatal dose of antifreeze just hours after he picked up a $30 million inheritance. It turns out the fortune was too good to be true. The Post spoke to the victim's 21-year-old son, who revealed that the lump sum was likely a scam that his father had fallen for that subsequently cost him his life. Ina Taya Knoyer, 47, was arrested Monday, almost two months after she allegedly killed Stephen Edward Riley, a gruesome act that cops said was driven by financial motives. My colleague Megan Palin spoke to Riley's son, Ryan, who said the couple had unwittingly fallen victim to an online scam and there was never any real money. Riley had received an email from an unknown distant relative claiming to have a roughly $30 million inheritance waiting for him. The father of five eagerly went to Minot Airport to meet a lawyer for the sign-off, but the attorney never showed up. Instead, Riley fell sick and died just two days later from what investigators said was a fatal dose of antifreeze that Knoyer allegedly fed him in hopes of winning the fortune. She told cops she was entitled to it as his common-law wife, which the state of North Dakota does not actually recognize. Between learning about the fake inheritance and allegedly carrying out the dastardly scheme, Knoyer was tipped off to Riley's plans of leaving their relationship, with Ryan telling the Post that she had spent years leeching off him before learning about the potential fortune heading his way. She had also posted a string of demented Facebook posts airing out her disdain for Riley years before she allegedly killed him, including one in 2021 that said, quote, I wish I was worried about this man. Knoyer is being held without bond at the Ward County Detention Center and is scheduled to appear in court December 7th. She faces a maximum sentence of life without parole.